Mm. What's the time? The time is 9.04 a.m. <sighs> So I was really annoyed this morning. <sighs> well, I obviously woke up, went for crap. Then I went to the gym thinking, ah, oh, yeah, I'll be able to smash in a full session without needing to stop to go to the toilet. Eh. 40 minutes in, 45 minutes in. Right, there you go, Never mind. I am hungry now, so I'm gonna go pick up some, uh, some chicken and steak for the next two days. So there are gonna be some changes here on the channel. The last year I've vlogged, I think almost every weekend, <clears throat> but that's going to change. I'm not going to vlog as often anymore because for me this channel is a personal channel. It's the story of my development throughout my entire life. You know, for as long as I'm breathing, I'm going to be doing this channel. But I want the vlogs to be significant, so major world events like like the moon landing when that, that next happens in 2024, 2025. Um, major significant calendar events from my personal calendar, like when I go to Army Navy or uh, a birthday. That's what I'm going to be vlogging. But since we are doing a vlog, I am going to talk about current world events. Um, but I say world events. Harry and Meghan. I, I, I honestly can't understand why he's throwing his family under a bus. But then I remembered a quote by a good friend of mine, Rocco. He's a New Yorker of Italian descent, I believe. So he's got a thick New York accent. So just imagine that when I say this quote. The hair off a cunt can pull a locomotive. And what that means is basically men are very easily swayed. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why he's so easily swayed. It's not like he couldn't get somebody more attractive. I don't know, whatever, but thank you. So I think it's absolutely disgusting what he's doing to his family publicly. And he's a massive hypocrite as well. Oh, I don't want to be in the public eye. I don't want to be a royal anymore because it's always oh, it's too much limelight. Oh, by the way, Oprah, let me tell you all the shit about my family, my family history and all that shit. I'm not saying there isn't a way back for him into the family because blood is thicker than water and, and <coughs> And I've gone through some personal stuff as well, uh, which informs me that there's always a way for a family to reconcile. And in our case, actually end up very, very happy. I just don't see a way back for him and her. It would take a hell of a lot of time. But yeah, as to why I'm doing this video, it's not just to notify you of the changes to the channel. You know, the vlogs will be more significant, but less often. The two videos I'm working on right now, I'm redoing uh, my 2015 trip to Vegas and my 2017 trip to Vegas, as they should be dropping soon. But the reason that I'm doing this one, I say, to notify you of the changes, but also to say I'm actually happy. I'm in a position now where I'm actually happy. I'm in a job now where it's not just like and Morrison's was stacking shelves it was the same old shit with no prospect of climbing any further up the ladder working at Magicard building the printers again I'd, I'd already reached the top of the shop floor without like the supervisor going but even that wasn't really sort of appealing to me now I'm in a job where I've been given a project by my manager as well. And he says, there's, like, there's no time frame on it. You know, it's about your development and your learning of C++. Fucking A. Um, but I'm going to nail it. I'm going to obviously do my best. But I've got a job now where there's a lot of room for progression. And where there's a lot of room for progression, there's a lot of room to earn decent money. And that's just taken a huge amount of weight off my shoulders. Talking of weight, that's the other aspect of... of, of 
my life which is going in the right direction the weight's coming down going to the gym i will never ever now stop going to the gym i saw this video when i was in the gym the bbc did this video on this guy who was 86 still in the gym he wasn't in great shape he wasn't ripped but he was still going to the gym lifting weights you need that resistance way up until the end of your life basically uh, in, in lifting weights and doing a bit of cardio, not running, but walking, just a bit of exercise. And through correcting my diet, which I need to tweak still a little bit, that weight will come off. And uh, hopefully by the summer, I'll be in sort of fairly decent shape. Now, finally, I mean, I've never been a depressed person. Even when I've gone through the worst times of my life, I've never been depressed because I've always seen, look, you just take action and something... It, it, it will get good in the end and i've just been proven right you put the work in you put the effort in you take the opportunities that come up and life will get better you have to do the work anyway that's the end of my rant and uh like share subscribe and i shall see you soonish my birthday on february the first so i'll vlog that <laughs>